Hi guys! Wow, so I sucked um, last year at actually keeping up with this channel. I posted one video. Just the one. So I'm going to kick off today with a video about my bullet journal. I asked on my Instagram account. Side note, I'm going to put the links in the description. Maybe here as well. I might as well put a shameless plug in. And yeah, everyone said, well not everyone, but quite a lot of people said that they wanted to see more about my bullet journal setup and what it is and how I use it. Now I started doing a bullet journal last year and was like full steam ahead for a good few months with it and then I just, much like Elsa, I let it go. I didn't totally let it go because I still carried it around with me and I still used it to make to-do lists and put various other things in it. I just wasn't utilising it as much as a journal and a diary which is what I wanted to use it for and also for tracking. So this year I've got myself a brand new bullet journal and I'm mostly going to be using this for business and blogging type things. This is something that I want to carry around with me and use when I have lots of fun and creative ideas for my photography and blogging stuff. So I'm going to flip you down now and talk you through it. So this is the bullet journal that I'm using. It is a, and now bear with me because I'm probably going to say this wrong, Leuchtturm. Leuchtturm 1917, I think that's how you say it. Um, pop a link to it in the description though. Um, I got mine at Ryman, but you can get it on Amazon, probably WH Smiths, um, any kind of stationery shop. Last year I did use a moleskin notebook, um, but it was A, smaller, and B, the pages are a lot, they feel thinner and the dots are less visible. So I wanted something a little bit more sturdier this year, hence why I went with this one. So that's my actual notebook. I thought I also would just maybe show you a few of the little tools that I use with it. So when you bullet journal, the main things you are going to need are a journal, a pencil, a ruler, and a rubber. And yes, mine is a random dinosaur. They're your main things that you'll need. And then obviously a pen. I had been using this Stablo um, fine liner pen, but I just picked up the um, Uni drawing fine liner pens and there's a range of different nib sizes. So ooh, I will be using those. And after reading so many things about other pens to use, I have also picked up this Lamy Safari pen. And then some extra bits and bobs that you might want to use. Um, I just got these cheap brush pens that were from Tiger, but you can get really expensive fancy brush pens. And then I love a good post-it note. So I've got these Shell Yeah ones over here. I've also got donuts. I've also got alpacas and um, some pineapple post-it notes. They're really good for if you want to kind of plan something that you're gonna do later on and wanna leave a page blank. And then my other go-to staple thing is washi tape for decoration. So this is just a few, oh no, don't want, this is just a few of my washi tapes, but I have a lot more than this. But washi tape is just really good if you want to decorate a page really easily because um, they're pretty inexpensive for how much you get, but you literally just roll it tear it and stick it and it kind of makes the page look slightly prettier. So I'm literally going to kind of jump straight in and show you the pages that I've done so far. It won't be the most colourful or prettiest looking bullet journal because that is the reason why I kind of failed last year was I was getting so caught up in making it look really pretty that I wasn't actually focusing on the actual content inside it. So I've kind of stripped it right back and gone for quite simple layouts in the hopes that it will make me use it more. Um, so if you use the Leuchtturm journals then you get a content page and also the pages are numbered. Uh, what some people tend to do on either this page or one of these pages is to draw a key. Now I don't do that because I don't find that a key works for me because I forget what 
different thing means what there's like little dots and dots and arrows where you've either done a task migrated a task and i can't be bothered basically to faff around with that so i don't do a key but if you look at other videos on youtube i'm sure they'll show you how to use a key i do however use the content page this is really good for referring back to pages in your journal so if you're somewhere else along and think I want to know what my January expenses were you can come to this first page and see that pages 22 to 23 are my overview and expenses and then you can literally just flick through the page numbers to find the page you need uh, so my first page is a stats tracker I know for me I want to track my numbers because if I'm doing a giveaway or my, up my content for one month or I did something a little bit different then I want to be able to refer back and think oh okay so February I did that offer and wow my Instagram followers really shut up or something like that so I've just got Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest, YouTube and I have two blank ones here in case there's some kind of other social media platform that I then decide to join it's kind of handy just to have those anyway and again from January through to December the only thing I did with this page to make it look a little bit prettier was add some washi tape and a little sticker and that's about it uh, so yeah so that is my stats track page and I'm gonna start filling it in now I film the video so I'm just gonna cover those up a minute because it is some planned content but I don't want to be bound down to those days if anyone sees it on here but basically this is an idea that I took inspiration from Lily Pebbles video I will also link that down in the down bar um, basically you do a page for every month in the year and this is a really good way to plan your content in so I've just gone down the sides and written the letter for the corresponding day of the week and also the date and then up here I have the little tracker so the top line stands for photo text information scheduled and live and the bottom is more for YouTube videos so that is filmed edited information box scheduled and live again so basically if I decide that Wednesday is going to be my content filming or content posting day I will go into Wednesday and I will write what I'm planning to do and then once I've done it I can then tick the corresponding box again this is a page that I have some um, ideas on so I'm just going to cover those up just to be on the safe side although they're not all original ideas so I'm not too worried about that but these pages again I think I took inspiration from Lily Pebbles in this one this is a page for video ideas and a page for blog post ideas so any time that an idea for a post comes into my head I can flick through and open these pages and jot it down and then I've put little squares next to them so I can tick off when I've done it. These ones have um, a line through because basically they're videos that I've put on the January content page. So when I've actually posted them I'll then either go through and cross them or maybe colour in whatever I feel like doing. And again super simple I did add a little bit of washi tape for a little bit of colour that is about it. Now this page I think is quite an important page on your bullet journaling because everyone needs somewhere just to jot random ideas down. The amount of scrap pieces of paper I have where I think of something and I just scribble it on a piece of paper and then ultimately lose that piece of paper is a joke. So I've done a brain dump for any time I get an idea but it maybe doesn't fit into a blog or a video page I can just write it on one of these pages so, so every now and then I can just open the brain dump page and either get an idea for something or put something else down. So then on to my January page and this is where it kind of kicks in as more of the diary element. So on this page, this is one thing I did do last year in my bullet journal and it did work for me, was to do a monthly overview. So I've put the dates and I may go back in and put the letter for the day of the week, but I can plan and have an overview of different things that I've got going on. There's a little bit of a gap so I've stuck a sticker, might put a quote or something in at some point. And then down here I've got monthly goals which I have just covered because there are some personal things and I don't necessarily want to share all of that. 
um, but that's just quite good because I can then tick things off throughout the month or carry those goals over to the next month. And then on this page I have my monthly expenses. So I thought if I go through and make a note of every time I kind of buy something that's related to my business, so if I buy envelopes to package something in, I'll just write the date, what it was, where I got it, what sort of thing it was, so gas, stationery, uh, postage, things like that, and the cost, just so I can keep a little track, and it will also help um, throughout the year and when I get to do my taxes at the end of the year to remember what I bought and how much I spent. So then on to my weekly overviews. This is this current week. Kind of already failed at that because I put it on Tuesday and I meant to put it on Wednesday, but we won't dwell too much. Um, again, I just wanted to keep this really simple and have plenty of space to write my to-do lists. If I show you one of last year's, um, for example, this one. Last year I was trying to track way too much, so my week was in this tiny box. I didn't even write what I was meant to be doing on those days because I had no space. I then was also trying to track my Slimming World um, sins. I stuck these stickers in like I was going to track them, yeah right. I then was trying to decide on meals for the week, then I had a to-do week, uh, to-do list sorry, and then I had things to remember for next week and it was just way too much and as you can tell I didn't really write or use anything. So by using this layout I've got plenty of space to put my to-do lists and there's plenty of space to write anything that I need to. I tried to do some kind of like fancy calligraphy text for this week but that didn't necessarily work because I had the wrong pen. This week I just went for quite a plain handwriting text and I much prefer this and I think that is pretty much where I'm at with this at the moment I've got some ideas for pages that I want to do um, further on but yeah so that is my bullet journal for now I'd love to know what you thought of the video if you're bullet journaling um, if you've got any other ideas for um, how to utilize your business bullet journal I'm also going to pop a link to Nikki Williams' video in the description because I watched hers and it was really interesting and I really liked how she set hers up as well and she really made me think about stripping things back. But stay tuned because I will promise I'll be posting lots more videos so please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Bye!